Hi guys, welcome to Free Draw Friday. Today we're gonna to work a little bit with family drawing in the style of a surrealist. Now, if you don't know anything about surrealism, it began in the 1920s. It's based off of a psychologist named Sigmund Freud. If you don't know what a psychologist is, it's somebody who studies our behaviors and helps us figure out what we do, what we do. And what Sigmund Freud liked to really study is how the human mind works, how we have memories, and even our human instincts. So what surrealists did was the same kind of stuff. They like to think about dreams or things that don't really belong together that could go together by studying the subconscious. Subconsciousness is thoughts that we have that we don't even realize we're having. They would put together all kinds of different stuff, like a lobster and a telephone, that just don't really make any sense. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a crazy kind of drawing without any sense being made, and it's actually going to be a challenge for multiple people. So the very first step that you're gonna to need to do is to stretch out your art muscles. Make sure you're ready to do some art today. Now we're going to do something on a piece of paper. So the only supplies that you really need is a pencil and a piece of paper. I also have an envelope here and that's for another reason I'll tell you in just a second. The very first step you're gonna do is you're gonna take your piece of paper and you're going to fold it into thirds, okay? You fold it like a taco if that makes sense to you taco into thirds, okay. Now, the only part of this paper you're going to be touching is the very top section, okay. This is going to be where you do your part of your drawing before you pass it along. Now, we are going to make a creature using three different people's subconscious thoughts, okay. So the very first section of this paper is for you to put your name on, so I'm going to put my name on here. And then I am responsible, and so are you, for drawing the head of our creature. Now the head can be anything. It can be an insect head, it can be a camel, it can be, I don't know, a mermaid's head, whatever you would like it to look like. The only part that you have to follow the rules is it needs to touch the top and the bottom segment of your folded paper. You have to make it big, okay? So you're gonna really have to stretch your imagination. Now here I am, I'm gonna draw, I think, don't tell people that I'm drawing with this, I think I'm gonna make an ant head, okay? So I'm drawing, ooh. If you need to look at some pictures online, you can to help you out. All right, so you ready to see? I'm gonna show you. What do you think, is that a pretty good ant head? Okay, now the next step is we gotta hide our picture because we don't want the next person to know what we drew. So I'm gonna fold it up so that the next person knows that the middle section will be theirs, okay? And what I'm gonna do, now you can pass this to your friend in the next room, you can leave it in your neighbor's mailbox with instructions, or you can mail it to somebody. So here I have my envelope, right here, and I'm going to mail this to Miss Bailey so she can do the next part of our surreal draw, okay? Okay, so I know my part is to draw the body. So without looking at any of the other sections, I'm going to draw my name at the top of my section, and I'm going to draw the body. Okay, let's see. Can I get a nice tummy? The fun part about this is we don't know what the other people drew. So the next part is I'm going to mail this to Morgan. So I'm going to put this in here backwards so she doesn't see the part that I drew and I'm going to give it to her to draw the legs. Hi, okay, so my name is Morgan and I know that my third part is to draw the legs. I can't see what anyone else has drawn. So what I'm gonna do first is open it, it's blank, write my name up at the top. And now I'm gonna draw the legs. I'm gonna give it some nice tentacles. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just put it in the envelope, put it back in, hold it up, and send it to the next person. All right, so now we have our finished product. Now, surreal artists really did do this. They would actually start a painting or a drawing and send it to someone else and they would work on it. And by the end of the time, many people would work on it. You couldn't control the way the painting was going to go without you just doing it yourself. So it's actually a really interesting way to make art. Let's see what kind of creature the three of us came up with. Oh my goodness. It looks like an ant head 
Miss Bailey did some kind of furry belly, and then we have tentacle for legs. Now this is a surrealist drawing. It doesn't belong together. It's kind of weird and it's interesting. It almost looks like something that we could find in a dream. So we want to see what you and your family got up to creating your own surrealist drawings. Do it, you can color these, you can do them in marker. Just share them on our Facebook page below. You can also get to our blog where we have this activity laid out that you can do at home without watching the video. But we hope you had fun for Free Draw Friday and we will see you next week. Thanks.